in browsers, it is likely that a web page will become unavailable or possibly only images on an already displayed web page might fail to appear. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a very quick one. I'm just giving you an alert and announcement to something that might be impacting the internet over the next 48 hours. If this is the first time to my channel, then take a moment and hit the subscription icon and the notification bell so that way whenever I create new videos, you'll be notified. If you want to learn more about Pixamweb and who I am, you can visit my website pixamweb.com and go to the about section. And this is where I share some of my experience becoming a freelance web developer. All right, so real quick, the purpose of this video is to talk about the cyberspace blackout that's supposed to be taking place over the next 48 hours. One thing I like to do every morning is I like to read any news that may be pertaining to the internet, to web design and development, and anything that might be impacting my business. And obviously if the internet goes out, that can impact my business. So I figured since I read this, I might as well share the information with everyone as well. So this is uh, an article from dnaindia.com and it talks about the cyberspace blackout for the next 48 hours, the global internet users to face network failures. All right, so this gives you a little bit of background on it, but basically what it's talking about is the fact that the internet corporation of assigned names and numbers ICANN will carry out maintenance work during this time by changing the cryptographic keys that helps protect the internet's address book, aka the domain name system or DNS. So this is some information about it right here and I'll leave a link to these articles in the description area down below so definitely take a look at that. But wait, is this really going to happen? Another article, if we go over here, this is uh, from IndiaExpress.com. It's a fact check that says the internet shutdown won't affect 99% of users, clarifies ICANN. So over here it says, don't worry, your internet services are not going to be shut down. It's been clarified that the root key signing key rollover, which is underway now, will have a minimum impact across the world. In fact, the change in cryptographic keys, which was announced in August, has already been underway for well over a day and has not impacted or had a significant impact on internet services yet. But there are articles and reports that are going viral talking about the internet shutdown. So I'll leave a link to this as well. What I like to do is I like going straight to the source. So ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, this is their website right here, ICANN.org. And they have right here in the header section information about what's actually taking place. So I'll just open this in a new tab. And this is the information straight from them, from their website. All right, so basically it's talking about what is taking place and what you could expect. There's a very long overview of that. And I'll leave a link to this in the description area as well. But right here in the middle section, let me make this bigger. All right, so it basically says that maintaining an up-to-date KSK is essential to ensuring DNSSEC-validating DNS resolvers continue to function following the rollover. Failure to have the current root zone KSK will mean that DNSSEC validating DNS resolvers will be unable to resolve any DNS queries. So basically what this means is that DNS, which stands for domain name servers, that's when you type out a domain name. So in this case it's ICANN.org. But ICANN.org is actually the domain name and that's translated into an IP address. Every website has an IP address and it's the DNS's job in order to interpret that IP address to an actual domain name. All right, so let's go down here. They have a couple of related resources. This one, what to expect during the root KSK rollover. So this is a seven page PDF, goes over what's taking place and it gives some information on who's gonna be impacted and what you can expect. So definitely take a look at this. And I'm gonna focus right now on this section 3.2 what users will see when all of their resolvers fail. At some point within 48 hours after the time of the rollover, some users' DNS queries will begin to fail because they will cause the resolver to get root key set again. As explained above, one cannot predict when the first results will fail during that 48-hour period. When this failure happens, if the user has multiple resolvers configured, and most users do, their system software will try the other resolvers that the user has configured. This might slow down the DNS resolution as their system keeps trying the resolver that is not prepared before switching to the resolver that is prepared. 
but the user will still get the DNS resolution and might not even notice the slowdown. However, if all of the user's resolvers are not prepared for the rollover, such as if they are all managed by one organization, and that organization has not made any of their resolvers ready, the user will start seeing failure sometime in the 48 hours after the rollover. Users will see different symptoms of failure, depending on what program they are running and how that program reacts to failed DNS lookups. In browsers, it is likely that a web page will become unavailable, or possibly only images on an already displayed web page might fail to appear. Alright, so this gives an explanation and it does signify that some people will have some failures when visiting websites. So definitely take a look at this read so you can get some more information on that. But let's go to another page here. This one is a quick guide on how to prepare your systems for the root KSK rollover. So it gives some more information on what the root KSK rollover is, how you need to prepare, what you need to do, and when it takes place. So you see here, October 11, 2018, and then the old KSK is going to be revoked on January 11th of 2019. If you need some more information on DNSSEC, they have a good beginner's guide over here as well. You may want to take a look at this and get more familiar with DNSSEC. But my recommendation always is to check the, um, check the source. The source matters because what happens is everybody interprets information differently and sometimes it gets sensationalized. So if you're having trouble visiting certain websites online, over the next 48 hours, it could be because of this DNS root KSK rollover that's currently taking place and might impact some users over the next 48 hours. So definitely take a look at ICANN.org, get some more information from their website, take a look at some of their articles and see how they're dealing with the situation, and learn about how DNS actually works and why it's important. It's important because if you had to memorize the IP addresses for every single website, that would be crazy. Instead of typing in facebook.com or youtube.com, you would be typing in a string of numbers and that can be very cumbersome. So that's why we need DNS and that's why keeping the DNS secure is vital. So are the rumors exaggerated? Are they just rumors? Well, they're not just rumors since we just read that it might impact some users, but internet service providers and some of the bigger organizations that depend on this are likely keeping everything up to date and are also watching as this unfolds. So the impact will only potentially impact up to 1% of users. But it is something that is going to happen. So what will you do if the internet goes out? Who knows, maybe you could uh, catch up on reading a book, take a walk outside, get some coffee, and when you come back, the internet might just be back up. Or websites that you visit often might be back up as well. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. I just wanted to get you up to speed on what's taking place in terms of a cyberspace blackout for the next 48 hours. Is it true? Is it a rumor? Well, we know that it is going to happen. It's just a maintenance process by ICANN, but it should only impact a small population. Hopefully that won't be you and hopefully it won't be me. Obviously this is very inconvenient, especially if you're someone like me who is a freelance web developer where I sell themes for WordPress and I also provide services for WordPress as well. But that's part of the process. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or opinions, leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Hey, check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up.